Good morning. Wake up. I'm awake now. I'm just about awake. I keep having I keep having dreams about work and I hate it. I just don't appreciate dreaming about work. I want uh I want my own dreams back. It is wake up on wind time. And luckily this time, I have started the right show. Yesterday, every time I went live, even though I was hosting more trivia and more or less, I kept running wake up and win because my brain is now just systematically programmed to wake, to, to press wake up and win whenever I go live because it's just like, it's autopilot. It's autopilot for me now. Um, how's everyone doing? It's a nice early start to the day. Well, not necessarily early for some, uh, good morning, Fox Force for Autopilot indeed. Morning, Lottie. And another day where we are giving away coffee. The best coffee. It smells so good. Um, you want to win this. It's like good. What's this? Fruit and nut espresso. Um, and it's hints of milk chocolate, almond and raisin. It all smells. Like so, so good. Like so good, really. Uh, I love black coffee. It's it's good. It's good. It's um, they actually they actually Pat Coffee were meant to send me a mug, uh, so I could like drink the coffee out of their mug today. Um, but they accidentally sent me just more coffee, like a load more coffee. Um, which I don't. I'm not complaining about because I just got loads more coffee. But unfortunately, I don't have my uh, I don't have my coffee mug with me. Um, I love black coffee. It feels like suffering. Do you feel like suffering? I don't know. I kind of like, um, there are like, you know, when you have like, oh, I don't know what I can say. You know, when you drink like a harder drink and it's like more of like a, it's sort of a kick to it. It is, I do, I do prefer that. It wakes you up a bit, doesn't it? That's what you want in the morning. Um, a good kicking to get you out of bed. Um, I don't live in a world without coffee. No one does. No one can. And you can get a subscription and you can get 25% off if you get our third question correct. If not, you may have to pay full price. Good morning, Falling Knife. And Falling Knife last night won eight pounds on more or less. Well done. Crazy, right? So we do more or less like three games. Each per and like it's random boxes, out of twelve boxes, and each person won eight pounds exactly. So each person out of the twelve boxes, each independently picked the eight pound box. Which someone worked out the odds are is like one in a thousand something, which is crazy. Um, there you go. I don't like coffee, my hubby does. I I wasn't a big fan of coffee, and then I started drinking this coffee, and actually it's pretty good. Um, in, uh, in some of our offices we go to, we've got like, it's like a free barista. He does like coffees that you can grab as well. Okay, shut up, um, the weather in Taiwan is raining right now. Is it raining here? Yes, I've got my curtains closed next to me, so... Problem is, right, so whenever I host, if it's like 8am, the sun will be coming up and it will like glisten me out of the picture. Or if you see me hosting in the evening at 8am or 9pm, the sun's normally like going down. So like I start off like sort of lit all right and then it goes really dark. So I have to just black out the sun. Um, good morning, I'm Kristen from Cali. I want to say hi to you all. God's bountiful blessing to all. Indeed, indeed, to all of us. Um, let's just start serving Pat's coffee. Uh, and we'll talk more about pat coffee at our third magic coffee question. Good midnight music. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of people are playing in the night as well as the day. Um, why don't you, if you if you you may as well just wake up now if you're up late. I once hit the pop. I never got a pop up. Don't worry, Jelly Bean. It's recorded in our end. We know who wins when. Um, vitamin D. That is true. The doctor did say I have a vitamin D deficiency. So I've been taking vitamin D and I was prescribed to go outside every day for half an hour to get sun. And I think my vitamin D is better now, which is good. Um, but yeah, I stay inside too much. Even though I've got these bright lights, you can't see in my face. It doesn't give me all the D that I need to function. Um, 71 people. 
it's good, right? It's a good, a good morning number. Um, bring your friends if they like coffee. We've got so much stuff to give away that we need more people to give it away to, basically. Vitamin C is coffee. That's true. I should tell my doctor that. Uh, right. 8.04 now. Coffee is quintessentially English. In a way, yeah. I actually know the background of coffee, even though each question today, this week, has been a specialist question, co coffee question, which is teaching me so much. What did we learn yesterday about coffee? I should know, I should remember. Um, oh yeah, a cappuccino is named after a monk's hood. A hood of a monk is a cappuccino. Isn't that interesting? That's a fun one. Convince you to make a cup. That's it, you can't go ahead. Right, it's five minutes past eight. We have 78 people in this morning and uh, we've got a lot of prizes to give away. Um, so, good morning, my name is Tim and this is Wake Up and Win, which is our morning version of more or less um, in the UK time. Of course, if you're abroad, it might be a different time. Uh, it's very easy, there's five questions. Um, if you get, if you answer quick, you get more points. The people with the top three points at the end, if you're based in the UK, you will win a coffee dispense, a coffee kit, let me get it up, a brew kit, which consists of this cool brewing thing, which I've used, it's like our coffee. You get a bug and coffee as well with it, and like all the filters and things you need. So you can make up, you can brew your own coffee. It's very easy. And if you get our third question right, you also get a 25% off. Uh, a subscription of first three purchases of them and there is a lot of if you like coffee there is a lot of good coffee stuff to purchase i was flicking through the store today to see what i'd buy and not only that but if you score over thirty thousand points you will get a split of our pot of 25 pounds so you want to get over thirty thousand points you want to come first second and third and you want to get question three right and then you can you're winning you're winning all our prizes then at that point right Let's go for our first question. That's it. Enough of the rules explained. Uh, let's go. So, first question is about Skater Boy. He was a skater boy. He said, see you later, boy. But this is a worldwide hit for which singer? Was it Shakira, Avril Lavigne, or Nelly Furtado? A nice easy one, I think, to kick off. I, I would know this. I know this very well. In fact, when I was in early in school, I remember someone came in and played it on guitar, which is cool. It is a great song. And it is, of course, Avril Lavigne. Well done to 54 of you getting that right. 15 for Shakira, not 8 for Nelly Furtado. Not easy, says Handsome. I'm sorry. That's, I think that's maybe the easiest question today, but I guess it depends on what you know. Um, fun fact then, uh, Avril Lavigne is actually Canadian. Who'd have guessed? Not me, not me. Right, question number two. Um, let's look at a picture here. So, goodbye skater boy. Also, yeah, I was gonna say, it is spelled skater with an eight, with an eight, uh, that's true. Uh, I don't know, and how do I not get 10,000? You've got to tap incredibly quickly to get 10,000. It's quite a hard thing to get. Uh, right, um, we're gonna look at this person. Does anyone know who this is? Anyone know who this is? Uh, I I did sort of know who it was, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because it may not be super obvious. It's David Chase. Who is David Chase? He's not my father, unfortunately, but he did do something. And what I want to know is which award-winning TV series was created by David Chase. Was it The Wire, Sopranos, or The Leftovers? If you're into your prestige TV... You might get this one. I do watch The Sopranos, it's good. The Wire is also good. And The Leftovers, season two, amazing. Probably one of my favorite shows. Um, but the correct answer is in fact, The Sopranos, um, which 49 of you got right, well done. 10 people for The Wire, 20 for The Leftovers. I can see maybe why you'd go for The Leftovers because um, The Wire is, um, The Wire is written by David Simon and the, and um, what I'm saying, The Leftovers, is by Damon Lindelof, who is also did Watchmen as well, the HBO Watchmen show. Right. And rather than doing the leaderboards now, we're going to do 
our packed coffee question and then see who got that right and see who everyone's at. But before I go through the question, I should tell you a bit more about our sponsor, Pat Coffee. It's a 100% specially graded coffee, specially, speciality grade coffee sourced directly from farmers around the world. It's roasted to perfection in carbon neutral roastery and it's delivered to you days later if you order it. They also pay farmers over 75% of fair trade prices. So fair trade, not that fair. Well, maybe it is fair, but Pat Coffee, even more fair. So if you are going to order a coffee subscription, definitely get this. And if you get this question right, you get 25% off your first three purchases. And if you come in the top three, you get it anyway for free and you can try it and you'll probably be sold anyway. That's, I imagine that's why we're giving it for free because like, it's just, it's just so good. But question number three though, it's our coffee question. Um, the term for a coffee pot that consists of a glass... Why can't I talk? It's too late. The, the term for a coffee pot that consists of a glass, a glass container with a plunger is a percolator, a demitasse, or a cafetiera. I did look at the presentation and think, oh, a cafetiera. There could have been an accent in a few of those words, I think. Uh, Joe knows this one, which is good. Uh, when can I get a tour of the carbon neutral roastery? I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll definitely email them about it. Uh, a cafetiera. A cafetiera is the correct answer, which 35 you got right. 23 went for percolator. Percolator, that sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? And 14 for demitasse. Um, percolator is like a more metal thing. And I was actually looking on Pat's Coffee site because I was like, surely they sell one. And they do. And here it is. Here it is. That's it. You can buy one from there. Um, that could be a day out. A day out to the, the coffee roastery factory. Um, there you go. So that's what it looks like. And let's look at the leaderboards and see how well everyone has done so far. Who is in line for the win? It is now cut that out in first place, followed by C. Curitan 3, followed by Grizzo. Kev Mack, Gina B, Anna S, Agale, Lottie, Matty Fields, The Amazing Puzzle, Agale, Anna S, Gina B, Kev Mack. Sorry if I missed your name out there. And um, they're the top 10 players doing well so far. Falling Knife, the quickest answer of that question. And James, the second quickest answer of the coffee question. Both have probably had coffee in the last five minutes, two minutes. Um, no one getting 30k yet, but technically you got it four right, so it's impossible to get 30k. Right. Question number four. We're getting close. Coffee. Coffee cof, fee, says James. I get it. Um, it's a geography question. My worst subject at school. I think I dropped geography. Um, but which of these countries is not... Um, here is the video. That's right, it's the French parkour. Um, if I hadn't said to her, don't try that at home, uh, don't, don't, don't climb on buildings unless you're a trained professional who does it. Um, but yeah, we're talking about the French sport parkour. 
or parkour, uh, I think it's pronounced. I'm going to say it like that. Um, the French martial art of running. It is. Remember the James Bond film? Is it Casino Royale where they hired the parkour guy? Tim, was that me? It was me. I am, a, in fact, a parkour expert. Uh, but my question to you is, what was the first country in the world to recognise parkour? Well done to everyone for playing today. Um, if you did get your prizes, um, make sure you check out your verified your email in the app and you'll be able to claim that. We pay out everything on Mondays um, and yeah, we'll be sorting that out shortly. Uh, thank you for playing. Thank you for joining. This is my, um, I've said it now, £30,000. I have said it. It's too late now. I can't go back on it. Um, if you, uh, yeah, we'll be back um, tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time for some more morning trivia to wake you up in the morning keep you going fox force will get your first split well done uh tell your friends get people in which is cool um super hard questions at this time of morning it's uh they're they're definitely questions definitely questions um and yeah hopefully um yeah we'll be kicking off again we're back again at 3 p.m today and we're back again at 8 p.m today as always and 3 and 8 a.m tomorrow at british time um good luck for the later quizzes different prizes and um, actually, no, we don't have back at 8. 8 a.m. is Hot Seat, which is our different show. But I'll be back tomorrow uh, at 12 at 8 a.m. I can't talk. My brain's just like, it's everywhere. I need to drink more coffee and do some parkour to wake up. Um, thank you, everyone, for playing. And yeah, I'll be back in tomorrow. Goodbye.